symbol of us Christians. Ni mfano wetu sisi wa Kristo. Mara nyingi sisi kama wa Kristo tunaweka afasado na wafis, tunaweka nguo nyingine au sura ya Ukristo siku ya Jumapili. Tunakuja, tunanyenyekea, tunainama, tunainuka. Baada ya muda kidogo tukitoka kutukienda kwa mambo yetu, tunakuwa watu wa tofauti. Mahatma Gandhi alisema to Christians, I like your Christ, nampenda Kristo wenu, but I don't like your Christianity. Nampenda Kristo lakini Ukristo wenu si upendi. Why? If only Christians lived like Christ. Heri wa Kristo wageishi kama Kristo. Lakini sisi hatuishi kama Kristo. Wakati mwingine tunaishi kama watu wa shetani. Kenya is said to be about 84 or 80% Christian. Wa Kristo tuko wengi. Lakini ingia kwa jela. Ni wale wasio wa Kristo au ni wale wa Islamu au ni kina nani wako wengi? Au hamuigiagi huko kutembelea. Watu mimi huenda kuhubiri wakati mwingine. Wengine wananiambia wanaitwa John, wanaitwa Peter and so on and so forth. Agalieni level ya corruption in this country. We are usually put in the radar ya corruption. Kuna Muislamu Sheikh Juzi aliandika niliona kwa mtandao na wengine muliona. Akituchallenge sisi wa Kristo kwa jinsi tunavyoishi. Tunaishi kama watu wabao sio wa Kristo. Ninavaa kola kama mchugaji. Lakini mambo ambayo ninafanya ni tofauti. Mzee wa kama anavaa uniform ya kama. Mama wa mother senior anavaa uniform ya mother senior. Agalia uasherati, agalia ulevi, agalia mambo ya aina hiyo. Tumeomba tutakapokuwa tukiingia kwa kanisa hili na kuomba. Mungu atusikie. Kama kuna wakati tunahitaji kumuomba Mungu atusikie. Your Excellency, I did not come here to address you, but nimesikia watu wengine wakikurifaa kwa jia bayo haistahili wanaliganisha wewe na zakayo najua wewe unajua hivi <laughs> ni aibu wa kristo ni aibu ni aibu ni aibu in the book of exodus chapter 28 and verses 32 the bible warns us kumtukana kutomheshimu kiongozi wa nchi you should know that kazi yetu ni kumuobea na kuobea serikali and i have said this many times mimi ni askofu wa diocese ya nairobi nina wachugaji kama moja na thelathini na wakristo wa nairobi wa agrikana kama sijui about 300 400 now let me tell you na sikuja kuwashabulia mungejua vile ninakuliwa kichwa na hawa wachugaji Nikishidwa nitafanya nini? Ninaamka ninaoba Mungu saa nane nina fast. Najiulizaga na president abaye ako na milioni gapi? Eh? Na hana vichwa vyetu sisi wote. Kichwa chake ni kile kimoja tu kama chagu na kama chako. And anything and everything tunamwangalia. As I finish I want to tell you these Christians Kenya's problem is not taxation. Shida ya Kenya si kulipa kodi. Kenya's problem is corruption. Corruption. Corruption kwa Kiswahili ni nini? Ufisadi. Now corruption in the Bible is rottenness. Kuoza. First Corinthians 15 when we read it at, at funerals we talk about when this corruptible body 
will come to an end mwili huu wa kuoza utakapoisha we shall be put an incorruptible body kwa hivyo corruption si ufisadi corruption ni kuoza akili za watu zilioza kwa hivyo hata akiba mali ya wenyewe hata akidaganya mtu hata akiua mtu hata akifanya mambo ambayo ni maovu mbele ya Mungu kwa sababu kichwa chake kimeoza na samaki anaanza kuoza wapi kwa kichwa shida yetu ni hiyo yes your excellency thank you for your government appointing our brother bishop david ogide to be the one who is fighting corruption as a christian and i hope god you give him grace to win ni jukumu langu ni jukumu lako kujiuliza am i corrupt are you corrupt na tukiamua kubadilika hata level ya taxation itakuja chini tukiendelea na corruption na hiyo level ya taxation itaendelea juu i'm not a tax man but i do pay tax ni vizuri kujua hivyo siku hii ya leo when we celebrate the triumphal entry of jesus into jerusalem singing hosanna may we tell god to save us when the temple of jerusalem was completed in second chronicles chapter 6 and chapter 7 solomon who built the temple who was the king he came and knelt at the altar and he blessed the lord and he looked to the heavens and he prayed to god watu wa bahati mna baraka mna bahati ya kwamba kama solomon president wa nchi amekuja kupiga magoti na sisi na sisi basi wa Kristo wa Nairobi tuwe tunakuja hapa kupiga magoti na kuomba Mungu abadi